We're taking a look right now live. Yeah, there's some rain across the Philly metro as we speak. We are going to see that kind of lighten up and tail off a bit as we head into the afternoon. If you're north of 78, that's where you'll have a better chance for it to just be cloudy and dreary. Otherwise, you're going to continue to see some light rain. Like behind me, Cape May right now coming in with some rain. And eventually, we're going to be getting in on some fog. In fact, fog by late tonight into tomorrow morning could be the top headline more so than any rain early Saturday. It's also chilly, a lot cooler now than it was even a few hours ago. 46 in Philadelphia, 44 in Atlantic City, Cheswell coming in at 48, 47 in Reading. The cooler air that's filtering in, because we have a cloudy cover, it's going to stay this way. We're not actually going to see those temperatures drop much more than this. They'll springboard up a little bit more as we head toward the late part of the afternoon. It's all part of a major system that extends all the way back toward the deep and mid south. They're going to have some severe weather, the possibility for even tornadoes on the back side of this system for areas like Memphis, Tennessee, Little Rock, and North Mississippi. But for us, we're just going to be looking at some rain and possibly for your Saturday afternoon, a couple of non severe rumbles of thunder, much like we had last night. Let's go ahead and a little bit closer in, and you can see right now Philadelphia is still under some light rain. You head a little bit northwest of the city, and we're already starting to see the faucet turn off just a little bit. Next 12 hours, we may once again get back up to the lower 50s. But keep in mind, this time of year, we should be in the mid to upper 50s. So we're going to be chilly. And then into this night, we're going to basically stay in the mid and upper 40s. So it's a chilly start to the evening. And then we get into early Saturday morning. And we're going to actually see the chance for a little bit of fog. Because the winds will be light off the water. And basically what we're going to end up seeing here is some reduced visibilities across central and southern New Jersey and eastern PA. Maybe as far down as one to even less than half a mile. So keep that in mind early Saturday. By the afternoon hours, warm front lifts to the north. This is the last piece of this, by the way. It does spark off some showers, and by Saturday afternoon, potentially a couple of thunderstorms. Once we get through Saturday evening, the cold front sweeps out. We get in some fresh, cooler air early Sunday morning. Then the sunshine comes in, and our winds from the west and southwest will help to propel those temperatures up. Remember, this time of year, angle of the sun, it's almost April, so we're getting back up in the 60s. That's for Sunday. Saturday, not so great. Sunday, much, much better. Just be on the little windy side there. 44 degrees tonight, chilly rain, some patchy fog, east winds at five miles per hour. Here's your seven day forecast 55 on Saturday. So we'll get through the first half of the weekend, not so great. Second half of the weekend, much, much better. Again, sunshine on Sunday, 62. Just watch out for my wind west southwest at times up to 25 miles per hour. Next week, where we should be for temperatures, that's where we'll be. But we'll have a couple of chances for showers late Tuesday and again on Wednesday. No major systems in play and no major storm systems, big ups or downs all the way through the end of next week. Jim. Thank you, Andrew.